53 seconds to go. Oh yeah. 53 seconds left on the clock and Boston was leading by one point. <laughs> yeah, and suddenly, there was some slight hope for Miami. Uh -oh. But then Boston was like, hold up, hold up. It's 16 seconds left to the end of the game. Let's make that a two-point lead and not a one-point lead. And that two-point lead was certain up until three seconds to the end of the final whistle. But then a whistle was blown. Unfortunately, that whistle was against Boston. They had bagged a three-point foul. And Miami had three shots to take. Shot one. Boom was on the money. Scores became 102-101. Shot two. Bingo. Scores had leveled up. 102-102. And the final shot. Boom. Miami was in the lead. 103 to 102 and of course it was only three seconds left on the game so celebration began i mean it was just three seconds on the clock so you know it's over and it's time to celebrate this win because nothing can happen in three seconds right wrong what boston's eyes were on the prize and as soon as that whistle blew for the final three seconds a key player made a shot and missed Aww. however Derek white was not going to let that miss slide light skin brothers we embrace everything and boston won the game and in case you missed this shot like i did when i was watching it live here it is a failed shot and a confirmed shot that went into the net ladies and gentlemen three second lesson that we can learn from this number one don't give up it's not over till it's over it could be about your youtube channel not progressing or something at your work or something else this lesson applies to everybody in whatever stage or phase you are in life especially when you're fighting for something it might be three seconds and it appears that the end has come don't give up keep going you might be three seconds three days three months or three years from that big break what's the other important lesson the people in your team and your corner play a vital role do you have a Derek White in your team? Many successful YouTubers, many successful people always talk about this. The people in your corner. Who is part of your circle? Do you have any that are dogged, that are like our light-skinned brother Derek White, who kept on, who kept his eyes on the prize even when it didn't look like it was and there was any hope? Now, he didn't just score and walk away. He put his foot down and insisted that they check out the scores, that he met the timeline. Even when many people didn't notice it or realize it, what was going on on the outside was not his business. Third lesson, challenges create champions. History is made in challenging times, in difficulties, when there are roadblocks. Embrace those challenges because it will make you dig deep into that untapped strength and resilience. And more importantly, it will bring out that champion that you are. You've got to block out that noise, block out the distraction and go for the kill. Oh,